All right, this was a kind of interesting game to see. Another game in three minutes, so anything can happen. You know, played pretty good, but made one oversight. Luckily, he missed it. So let's get it and see what's going on. This is a King's Indian defense by transposition. You know, sandwich variation right there. So this is like all book stuff. As you see, book, 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 book. So, you know, get your dudes out. And white, you know, is going to generally try to attack on the king side if he can. So, right now, he's threatening to play knight to c4. So, don't want to stop it with b3. And knight g3 is a little inconvenient. Probably the best move, but that's not what I played. I figured I'll just go directly to it. So, he could try to play... He can play, actually, knight takes b2 would win a pawn. White could not play bishop takes g7 with the in-between move because the ultimate in-between move is knight to d3 check. Whoops, you lose. <laughs> oh, well, knight g3 was the best move, and now you see why. He should have played either knight takes b2 check or bishop takes h6. My mistake. So... No biggie. B3. Um, well, there's something different. But. That's whatever. Now knight to a5. You know is really not good. And you'll see why. As the game progresses, knight to a3 is what he should have played. It threatens, obviously, the knight to c2 check, but the knight just gets trapped on a5. And you'll see what happens. So that was definitely a mistake. g4, hey, gung-ho attack, baby. And I thought, well, you know, he might do that. Sometimes in the King's Indian defense, black will do the sacrifice of the bishop. For the, t uh, for the two pawns because of the disruption of the attack. But a lot of pieces are kind of gone. A lot of pieces are gone or misplaced, knight a5. So the computer did not think that this was really that good for him at all. Because, look, his rooks can do squat. And if his queen doesn't get in there, he didn't have a chance. So I'm like, okay, dude, this is forced. Queen of g5, it likes that move too. I'm like, well, that is pretty good. But I didn't like queen to f2 check at all. So I'm like, I'm stopping queen f2. So h5 was solid. But really wasting a pawn move in the context of you've, you've invested a piece for some nebulous attack that... If you have to push h5, you're probably in bad shape. Um, that's just, you know, the surface thought that came to mind. So I'm like, hey, bishop to h3, I will take, I want to trade this knight off as soon as I can. Because that at that point, he, he's dust. He loses that knight. It's his only piece on my half of the board. He loses that knight. He's dust. That threatens the, the, the cheap shot check on c2, which I saw instantly. Still, knight e3 is a, good, is a good post right there. It's a real pain in the rear. Can't move my king to speak of. Um, king to d2 just doesn't, you know, doesn't look too, too uh, enticing. I can't move my king away from knight checks. That's the annoying part, so... All right. I'm like, whatever, dude. You stick that rook there. Goodbye, Charlie. Now, the problem is 
this was the move that I missed that was terrible. He missed it too. So, a game in three minutes, I tell you, anything could happen. Well, it just did. Two good players missed, a, missed an obvious move. Pause the video. See if you can find it. And we're back. Okay. Those of you who pay attention, see Knight to G2 check and whoops, you lose. So, dodging the bullet, as they say. Queen to F2. Safe. So, that's just safe. And really what I would do, if I have to, just play, you know, like Rook F1 or whatever. That knight on E3 is a real pain. I can't believe he moved his knight. When he did that, I thought that uh, he's, he's dead at this point. He's a rook down. He's dead. I'll trade that queen so fast, it'll make your head spin. Haha, I castle. Connecting my rooks. But I don't need to connect him because the knight guards that rook on C1. So, scram, chump. So he's scramming. Now you see that, that that knight on a5 is just completely trapped. And he's, you know, he's self-corralled. So there's and there's but the thing is I really can't go and get it. I mean, I guess I could. But I don't need to. Thanks for trading rooks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even pay attention that I could go get it. I knew I didn't need to. I'm, I'm a rook ahead. It doesn't really matter. You know, rook c3 and b4 wins that night. And I'm like, why didn't I play that? I don't know. In game in three minutes, anything could happen. Knight, rook c3 is the move. But, I mean, literally just about everything I play wins. So, who cares? Just about every move I play wins. I mean, look at this. I'm just cleaning his clock. And my dad would tell you that, you know, when in doubt, clean the clock. And, hey, that was my dad's philosophy. Clean the clock. So I did. I cleaned his clock. <laughs> he doesn't have jack. <laughs> So my dad would have liked that. He was like, okay, that'd be great. Nope, oh, sorry, chump. I'm like, okay, look at this. Rook F6 check. This is just an ultimate disrespectful clock cleaning. I'm not going to take your pawn. I'm going to check your king. I dare you to take me. <laughs> I was daring him to take me. He didn't. I'm like, okay, you'll take it now, right? Well, I don't know. I guess he said, okay, that was fine. I don't care about any of that. I want a queen. I'm no fool. Get away. I take it with check. See? Queen takes pawn. Check. I don't care about any of this. Queen on d4. Check. And then I rule the board. Here comes Big Charlie. That's a good name for the king, Big Charlie. Yeah, whatever. Queen to A1 is a terrific move, but only a computer would see that. I would see it in the future now, but it never would have occurred to me to ever play Queen to A1 check. I mean, Queen to A1 threatening knight, knight D4 checkmate. Wow, what a what a what a crazy move, right? But hey, that's that's why you're here. We want to see these crazy moves that no normal person would ever play. Queen to a1. Man, if someone plays queen to a1, you you in these days, you would assume he's using a computer. Because that is a ridiculous move. It was really funny. I'm coming to get you. There you go. Bad news, baby. Really, why didn't I play queen to c2 check? Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Checkmate. 
That one I saw coming. But let's go back and look at this cheater move. Really? Queen to A1. I mean, that knight D4 is an unstoppable checkmate. I think we all know what Hank Hill would say. Well, that's a cheater move. Queen to A1. Who comes up with this? Although technically, doesn't Queen to D1? No, oh, it doesn't do the same thing. He's got to guard C3. That's the problem. That is an amazing move, isn't it? Queen to A1, double exclamation, you lose. There's nothing you could do. So that was that was kind of cool, actually. Let's go back and see. This was a nasty uh, clock cleaning, as my dad would say. Yes, what was I thinking? Idiot. Yeah, that's the right move, obviously. And then... This is the Devastator right there. I don't know what I, why I didn't I didn't see this. And I'm, I literally did not see this move at all during the game. I'll say it again. Game in three minutes, anything can happen. Because that's not a difficult move to find. That is a, a basic move. I knew that that knight could not move. And I go, man, I can't play b4. He'll just go knight to c4. Pfft, stupid. Put a rook there to stop, or put something to stop knight to c4. I mean, even, you know, knight to a3 would work. Knight to a3 would have stopped it. I could have played knight to a3 and then b4. But rook to c3 is like letting him know that I mean business. So that was that was, that was was a different kind of mistake. Not a big deal, because that game was won without that. I don't need to win the knight to win the game. It was already won. So that one doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't, you know, hold that to be any big, big of a deal. So I don't know what I was thinking, how I missed, how both of us missed knight g2 check is a mystery, but you know, better players than me and this guy have missed worse and more blatant moves than that. So I mean, grandmasters have missed checkmate, you know, so oh, don't sell yourself short, you know, don't, uh, you know, you got to admit your mistake, which I did, and, you know, move on with it, whatever, it's not coming back, you realize that, you realize this is a mistake, you admit it, and it's like, well, hopefully I never do this again, because it doesn't feel good but this is very instructive, and that's why it's here. You know, I want to show instructive moves, and this move is very instructive that, hey, you're winning, you're playing good, and one bad move, bishop takes rook, crunch, knight forks your queen, and you lose. So learn from this lesson, okay? Uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this game. You know the drill. Do what you have to do. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.